scientists find bacteria so alien to the human immune system that it cannot detect it. Researchers are now planning to apply the new technology to help develop better immunotherapeutics. A study led by Boston University discovered deep sea bacteria so foreign to the human immune system that immune cells do not register it. Well, obviously, because we're not used to them, we don't, the body doesn't know this. And I myself am very pensive about the bacteria that they found in the International Space Station that is not native to our Earth. How are we going to be able to have immunity to that bacteria? Anyway, going to this, this is on Sputnik News by Arti Katkow. The discovery brought researchers to a deeper understanding of how immune systems work. In particular, it puts to the test classic universal immunity concept, an idea that human immune systems evolved to be able to sense every microbe. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The idea was that the immune system is a generalist. It doesn't care if something was a threat or not. It just got rid of it. But no one had really pressure tested that assumption until now. This is what Jonathan Kagan said. He's a Boston Children's Hospital immunologist and one of the study leaders. And this is what he told Life Science. The researchers harvested the new types of microbial organisms 4,000 meters below the surface in one of the largest and deepest marine projects areas, protected areas in the world. It's located in the Phoenix Islands protected area in Kiribati in the Central Pacific Ocean. Using a remote controlled submarine, the researchers collected marine bacteria from different samples and then grew them into more than 100 culturable species. After introducing 50 of the strains to mouse and human immune cells, scientists found that 80% of these microbes were left undetected. Kagan said, what you end up with is a picture of the immune system as being locally defined by the bugs that it lives near and that the bugs and the immunity co-evolved. So if you take your immune system into a different ecosystem, a lot of the bugs there will be immunosilent. And that's uh, now I just remembered what I read oh many years ago concerning people from um, the uh, uh, Mongolian desert. Uh, they did not want to intermarry or mix with people in the bigger cities down south because of the fact that their uh, immune systems were not used to the many bacteria and microbes that they had in those areas because they were getting very sick. So that's exactly what's happening here. We're used to the microbes that, and bacteria that were living near. Now, the researchers found that the immune cells were blind to lipopolysaccharide or LPS. It's a specific part of the bacterial cell wall. Kagan explained that the lipid chains on the LPS were much longer than on those that could be found in the bacteria on land. He said, but we still don't know what, what, what that means, why that means that they can go undetected. Randy Rochjan, study co-author and Boston University marine ecologist, assured life science that the bacteria that manage to evade the human immune system don't pose any risk of infecting people, saying that if there was any pathogenicity, it would, ha it would be accidental. Since the bacteria have not evolved to evade the immune systems of mammals, Rajan also said that environments inside a human body are very different from those at the bottom of the ocean. He said these bacteria are not happy for more than a few minutes outside of their normal habitat. Thank goodness. So that we don't have to worry about that along with the COVID. So please leave your comments and thank you for your support.